ஹலாம் <laughs> In today's program, we're going to hear about the glad tidings of Ghosay Azam for his disciples, his affection and love for his disciples, help for the poor and generosity of Ghosay Azam. But before we continue, let's listen to the blessing of reciting Durood e Pak. The holy companion of Rasul, Sayyidina Abu Talha Ansari radiallahu ta'ala, who states, once in the morning the happiness on the luminous face of the final prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam of allah almighty was apparent the holy companions ridwanullahi ta'ala alayhi majma'in asked its reason he sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said allah almighty has sent a message he said oh beloved your ummati will recite one salat upon you i will write 10 virtues for him remove 10 sins and elevate 10 ranks for him and will send equal mercy un par durood jin ko kase be kasa kahe un par salam jin ko khabar be khabar ki hai sallu alal habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam main ye wazif madani chalu ghos e azam rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi was very generous he actively helped the poor and the needy as well he rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi would fulfill the need of any needy person who would come to him Especially, he gave his disciple many glad tidings. Today in our program, we are going to discuss those glad tidings, generosity, and the incidents and saying about fulfilling the needs of the needy. Hosea Azam rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi loved his disciples a lot, comforting his disciples. He said, indeed, my hand over my disciple is like the sky over the earth. Allahu Akbar. He says, if my disciple is not good, what is the problem? I, in other words, his master Abdul Qadir, am good. Khuda ke fazl se hum par hai saaya ho se azam ka Hame do no no jahame hai saara ho se azam ka Muri di la خف کہہ کر تسلی دی غلاموں کو مریدی لا تخف کہہ کر تسلی دی غلاموں کو قیامت تک رہے بے خوف بندہ Ghosay Azam rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi, has given glad tidings for his disciples. In other words, Qadiris. Those who become the disciple of Ghosay Azam rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi, are known as Qadiris. Sayyidina Shaykh Abu Abdullah Muhammad rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi, states, Sayyidina Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani, Ghosay Azam rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi, guarantees that none of his disciples will die without performing repentance. He has been given the brilliance that his disciples and their disciples up to seven generations will enter paradise. Subhanallah. Ghosay Azam rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi was a beloved bondsman and a wali of Allah Almighty. There are lots of benefits of being associated with the awliyas. Especially the association with Ghosay Azam rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi contains a lot of benefits and numerous blessings. As it is narrated, Sayyidina Bazaar rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi states, Someone said to Sayyidina Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi, A person utters your name, but he has neither pledged allegiance to you, nor received khilafah from you. Can we call him your disciple? 
Hearing this, he rahmatullahi ta'ala said, the person who's associated with me and utters my name will be accepted in the court of Allah Almighty and Allah Almighty will be kind to him. Indeed, my Lord Azzawajal has promised me that he would admit my disciples and friends into paradise. Subhanallah, what great glad tidings Ghosi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala is giving to his disciples and devotees. Ghosi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala was so beloved in the court of Allah Almighty that the one who love him and is associated with him, Allah Almighty will forgive him. In fact, by virtue of Ghosi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala, Allah Almighty forgave those who passed by the madrasa of Ghosi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala. As it is narrated that a person came to him and said, a person who recently passed away has been buried in so and so graveyard. We hear the screams from his grave as if he's being punished. Ghosi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala asked, Is he my disciple? He replied, I don't know. Ghosi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala asked, Was he from amongst those who visit me? He replied, I don't know. Ghosi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala asked, Did he ever eat food from my house? He replied, I don't know that either. Ghosi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala performed muraqaba meditation and after a short while he raised his head. All was apparent on his face. He said, the angels say to me that once he saw me and had good assumption in his heart, therefore he has been forgiven. Then when we went to his grave, the cries had completely stopped. Similarly, another incident is narrated that a young man arrived in the court of Sayyidina Ghosi Azam, Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani rahmatullahi ta'ala, and said to him, My father has passed away. I dreamt last night that he said to me, I am afflicted with the punishment of the grave. He said to me, Go to the court of Sayyidina Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani rahmatullahi ta'ala, and ask him to supplicate for me. He rahmatullahi ta'ala, said to that young man, Did he pass by my madrasa? The youth said, Yes. He rahmatullahi ta'ala became silent. Then the son came the next day and said, Last night I saw my father happy and cheerful and dressed in a green garment. He said, I have been saved from the punishment of the grave and the dress which you're observing has been given to me by the blessing of Sayyidina Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani rahmatullahi ta'ala. Hence my son, you must always visit him. Then Sayyidina Shaykh Muhyiuddin Abdul Qadir Jilani rahmatullahi ta'ala said, My Lord Azzawajal has promised me, I will decrease the punishment of the Muslim who will pass by your Madrasatul Muslimin. Rihai mil gai usko azab e qabro mahshar se. Rihai mil gai usko azab e qabro mahshar se. Yahaan par mil gaya jisko wasila qos e azam ka. My dear viz of Madani channel, how greatly Allah Almighty showed generosity to the disciples and devotees of Ghosi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala and those who passed by his madrasa. In addition to this, if we look at the life of Ghosi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala with respect to his good treatment to Muslims, he Rahmatullahi Ta'ala helped the poor, resolving problems of upset and grief-stricken people and helping them was his practice. He was very generous. Let's listen to an incident regarding the generosity of Ghosi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala. It is narrated that once he Rahmatullahi Ta'ala saw a person upset and sorrowful and asked, How are you? He said, Shaykh, I want to go across the river Tigris, but the sailor did not let me board the ship without a fare and I have nothing to pay. In the meantime, a devotee arrived in the court of Ghosi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala and presented 30 dinars as a gift. He Rahmatullahi Ta'ala gave those dinars to that person and said, Go and give these dinars to that sailor and tell him, In the future, do not refuse to help a poor person crossing the river. When displaying generosity, Ghosi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala would help the poor and the needy. Shaykh Abdullah Jubai Rahmatullahi Ta'ala states, once Sayyidina Ghosi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala said to me, For me, feeding the hungry and good manners are the action of more excellence. Then he said, Wealth does not stop in my hand. If I get a thousand dinars in the morning, not even a single penny would be left by the evening, that I would distribute them amongst the poor and the needy and feed the hungry. In ke dar se koi khali jai ho nahi sakta, in ke darwaze khule hai, Har gada ke vasate. Amongst the abundant attributes of Ghosi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala, one attribute is his hospitality. 
he rahmatullahi ta'ala was incomparable in hospitality it was his routine that daily when he would eat dinner the dining mat was spread and he rahmatullahi ta'ala would sit with the guests and eat the food at the dining mat Similarly, he rahmatullahi ta'ala would visit the sick and whatever hardship he would encounter while attaining Islamic knowledge and in the way of Allah Almighty, he would have patience. Sayyidina Shaykh Abul Qasim rahmatullahi ta'ala states that Sayyidina Ghosi Azam rahmatullahi ta'ala said, The one who complains to me about his problem or calls upon me in his suffering, I will eliminate his problem. And the one who seeks his need from Allah Almighty through my medium, Allah Almighty will fulfill his need. Asiron ke mushkil kusha ghose azam, faqiron ke hajat rawa ghose azam. My dear Jesus Madani channel, on the day of his passing, many shayukh were present. His son, Shaykh Abul Wahhab, requested him to make a will. He said, Obey Allah Almighty and adopt abstinence purely for him. Fear only Allah Almighty and have hope only in Allah Almighty. Present your need in the court of Allah Almighty. Seek ease only from Allah Almighty. After that, Ghosi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala passed away on 11th Rabiul Akhir, 561 AH, at the age of 91 years in Baghdad. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. His luminous shrine is located in Baghdad, and even today, thousands of devotees of Ghosi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala visit his shrine. My dear viewers of Madani channel, Alhamdulillah, in the program, Al Ghosi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala, we heard about the seed of Ghosi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala and about different aspects of his life. On 11th Rabiul Akhir, Ghosi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala veiled from this dunya, meaning he passed away. In relation to this, the 11th of Rabiul Akhir is marked as the Urs of Ghosi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, on the night of 11th Rabiul Akhir, Ishtimaz are held in different places under Dawat Islami. Daily after Isha, on the first 11 days of Rabiul Akhir, Shaykh Tariqat Amir al Sunnah Damat Barakatum al Aliyah conducts Madani Muzakara too, in which he answers the questions which are received from different countries and Sira of Ghosi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala is also discussed. In 11 episodes of our program, with relation to Gyarvi, we discussed the seed of Ghosi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala, his lifestyle, his worship, his spiritual exercises, his education, his love for Islamic knowledge, his love for Allah Almighty and his Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi wa Wasallam, his sayings and his miracles. May Allah Almighty accept our presentation of his seerah and listening to it and enable us to act upon the lessons that we get from his seerah. Ameen bijahin nabeel ameen sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam Awa ghasa ya zam rahmatullah alayhi Awa ghasa ya zam rahmatullah alayhi Awaghasayazam, Rahmatullah alayhi.